Welcome back to Wyoming and Sweetwater County History Outreach. Today we are continuing our series within a series, Guns of the Old West. For our latest installment, we've selected a percussion revolver, the 44 caliber Remington New Model Army. Beginning in 1836 and for over 20 years, Colt's Patent Firearms Manufacturing Company had the percussion revolver market virtually cornered, beginning with Colt's breakthrough original design, the Patterson, and continuing with models that included the Walker, the Dragoon series, and a 36 caliber 1851 Navy. That situation changed in 1858 when what would come to be known as the Remington Beals family of revolvers were first patented, culminating in the new model Army model. The Remington new model Army saw extensive use during the Civil War and the post-war frontier era that followed. About 132,000 new model armies were manufactured between 1863 and 1875. The Remington percussion design, compared here with its closest Colt counterpart, the 1860 Army model, was superior to the Colts in several respects. The Remington featured a solid frame top strap, which provided additional strength. The Remington's rear sight part of the frame rather than notched into the hammer tip, as was the case with Colt's percussion revolvers, was a marked improvement. The Remington could be rapidly reloaded with a spare loaded cylinder by merely lowering the seating lever, pulling the cylinder pin straight forward to release the empty cylinder and replacing it with a loaded one. While Colt percussion revolvers could also be reloaded in this manner, the process was slower and more cumbersome. The Remington featured safety slots at the rear of the cylinder, which permitted the hammer to be lowered into one of the slots between the chambers for safe carrying. This Remington New Model Army is part of our collection at the Sweetwater County Historical Museum. It once belonged to Big Nose George Parrott, a rustler, highwayman, train robber, and killer who operated in frontier era Wyoming. Parrott and his gang murdered a deputy sheriff and a railroad detective near Elk Mountain in August of 1878. Captured in Miles City, Montana the following year, he was transported to the Carbon County Jail in Rollins, Wyoming, where he was tried, found guilty, and sentenced to death in 1881. After an escape attempt, 10 days before his scheduled execution, Parrott was taken from his cell by a mob and lynched. For a complete account of Big Nose George and the macabre events after his death, his skin was made into a pair of shoes and his skull top into an ashtray, Check out the article on wildhistory.org entitled Big Nose George, A Grisly Frontier Tale at the link shown here. And you can check out Big Nose George, The Life and Unique Death of an Outlaw here on our YouTube channel and Facebook page. Check back often here on our YouTube channel for new features on Wyoming and Sweetwater County history outreach.